like to say shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. Also giving them honest to Elza GMS and honest to Akim. And peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters that listen to Hope for the Elect. I'd like to do a quick impromptu video on, um, you know, casting off or combating a demon that him in a demon called doubt, man. Because doubt is a demon, man. You see what I'm saying? And um, it happens to all of us because, like Yahweh Shai said, you know, he had his moments. See, showing that he was subject to the flesh, man, at times. Like he said, you know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. You know, and that's something that we got to improve on because this is the era of faith, man. This is the era of great faith. And faith is all throughout the Bible, man. The old and the new, man. And, um, you know, if we lack faith, that's called doubt, man. All right? It means you have no faith or confidence in Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. I'm going to read the first precept. All right, Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. It says, And straightway Yahweh Shai constrains the disciples to get in, the, in a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And was evening was come, he was there alone. So he had his spots, his moments, where he go pray alone. You know, and we do the same as well, man. You could have a certain location or, you know, your, your whatever room. Or certain parks, you may want to go and speak to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, man. All right. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh Shai went unto them, walking on the sea. You see, because he could control and manipulate the elements, man. You see what I'm saying? And through faith, through the power of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, we're going to get this, this power as well, man. You know, like I did in the last video, that faith, it starts as what? As a grain as a mustard seed, and it's going to continue to keep growing. But what hinders that growth is, is your doubt, man, your unbelief, man. But let me read on, though. It says, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying there's a spirit, and they cried out for fear. <laughs> oh, boy, it says, but straight Yahweh Shai spake unto them, saying, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid, man. And that's all of us, man. You know, we have to be of a good cheer and be not afraid, man. Okay? And that's for all the situations that we go through, man. All right? It says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it thou bid me come unto thee unto the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. So Peter already started walking towards Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai told him, come, man. All right? Yahweh Shai already gave him that power, man. But what did Peter do? When he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. So that goes in, in our personal life, man. When things get tough, like, the, like there's an old saying, um, things get tough, the tough get going, man. All right? So whatever these situations that arise, you start doubting. And Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah, man. And this is what happened to Peter, man. Because that's a, that's a demon, man. That's a that's a um, a left hand spirit. All right. He said he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, "Lord, save me!" And immediately Yahweh Shah stretched forth his hand and caught him, and said unto him, "O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Why did you doubt, man? Okay." Which means what? You have no faith or confidence. Or really, what that doubt is means you distrust Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. That's what it is, man. And that's the majority of our people. They distrust the Heavenly Father, man. They don't have faith in Him, man. Because they don't know Him. And when they were coming to the ship and the wind ceased, then they were in the ship came and worshipped Him, same of a truth, and thou art the Son of the Most High, man. So we see... Peter, who was the head disciple, he battled that, man. Yahweh Shai battled that, man. And that's the constant fight or struggle that you're going to have in your flesh, man. All right? Because the, um, Satan has control over your flesh, man. But you got to battle him with the spirit, man. All right? The spirit versus the flesh is an everyday fight, man. 
every single day. All right. That's why you have to mortify your members. And the next video I'm gonna do on that, man. Mortifying your members, man. All right. Read another precept before I can get another precept. Let's see first Samuel. Let me see where I get this. But Goliath. Oh, here we go. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 20. And we get Satan after this, man. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 20, it says, And David rose up early in the morning and left the ship with a keeper. Sheep with a keeper and look and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going to forth to fight and shot for the battle. That's when David was about to get his fame. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted his brethren. Let me see. Um, there we go. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up a champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were sore afraid. They doubted, man. They doubted, man. They doubted, man. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You see what I'm saying? And here it is Joshua said that in the book of Joshua. Let's see if I get that precept real quick. If not, I'll just continue reading on. Joshua told him, Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. He said, Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, man. And see, Israel knew these precepts. What happened? That demon called doubt got in the way, man. Neither be thou dismayed or frightened or afraid. For Yahweh Shemel Shai, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So it's the same thing for the Philistines, and it's the same thing for us today, man. All right? We get that, um, read that precept again. So Israel was so afraid. And the men of Israel said, have we seen this man that has come up? So to show you, Eliad had to, Goliath had to be a mighty man. Because the men back then were a lot taller than today. A lot bigger, a lot stronger, live longer. You see? So Goliath was extremely tall, man. Like they say, some scholars and contemporaries say about like 18 feet tall, man. And he was a warrior. You know what I'm saying? He had heavy armor. He could run fast, roll, dodging arrows. He was a warrior, man. Okay? But what happened, though? It says, have, have the men of Israel said, Have we seen this man that come up surely to defy Israel? Is he come up? And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by, saying, What shall be done in the man that killeth the Philistine and taketh away the reproach from Israel? See, that's a, that was a reproach to Israel, man. You see? Running away from some um, some heathen, man. Some <laughs> Like King David going to say it right now. Matter of fact, let me continue reading on. You see, because he was mocking... Yeah, he was mocking Israel, which that's mocking Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. That was a reproach unto us, man. You see, but King David, a shepherd boy, we're gonna keep reading. It says, um, King David said, For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living power, man? Who is this guy, man? You see what I'm saying? And that's that, and that's that's how we gotta look at every situation, man. Like Paul said, if Yahweh Bashimel shall be with us, who can be against us, man? Who, man? He said, no principality, no neither death should get in the way of you serving Yahweh Bashimel Shah, man. Okay? 
So Israel running away from some uncircumcised heathen, that was a disgrace, man. That was a reproach unto us, man. Because they doubted, man. You see? That's why the disciples asked Yahweh Shem El Um And it's a good prayer to say, too. For the most high to increase your faith, man. Luke 17, verse 5. And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. Simple. They said what? And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith, man. That's a simple prayer to Yahabashim al Shah. Increase your faith, man, or your belief, man. Okay? And to get rid of that demon called unbelief, man. Doubt, man. Okay? Because if you continue to keep doubting, that means what? You can't please you. How about Shemiel Shah, man? And that is Satan's job. Okay? That's why he's an adversary. He's set up for you to what? To cast the seed of doubt, man. And that's why he sent his minions out. These pseudo-scholars and these pork chop eating preachers to what? To cast down what we're bringing out. For you you young, um, you new brothers and sisters that come into this thing, they're trying to plant the seed of doubt in your mind, man. That, that you're nothing more than a nigger and a slave, man. All right? They don't, they don't want you to know that you're the people of the book, man. And that salvation is for you. The kingdom is for you, man. All right? That the Most High looks like you, man. And that you're what? You're a special and a chosen people. That's what them demons is trying to do. Plant that seed of doubt, man. But they're going to lose, man. Okay? Because what them idiots don't know... Is that they daddy the devil, Satan. He lost 2,000 years ago, man. All right? Yahweh Shai conquered Satan, man. All right? And Satan tried to get Yahweh Shai to doubt and then to sell out. Matter of fact, let me read that Luke, the fourth chapter. It says, And Yahweh Shai, being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being 40 days tempted of the devil. So, Wow. The Bible just gives you a brief summary of what took place. But all those 40 days he was fasting, he was tempted of Satan. That was a back and forth battle, an intense battle. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. So he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, didn't eat or drink. And this was right before he started his ministry. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of the most high, command this stone and then that he be made bread. So you, you see? And he knew Yahweh Shah was on a fast, man. Okay? Strengthen his spirit before he begun his ministry. Doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And Satan was like, man, listen, if you truly are the son of the Most High, just make this stone into bread, man. See? Feeding what? His flesh, man. But what did Yahweh Shah say? Yahweh Shah answered him saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the Most High, the Rakakwadash. The Holy Spirit, man. And this is what we're feeding you brothers and sisters with today. The spirit of truth, man. All right. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. You see? So he's like a, like a portal. And he showed you how it shot all the kingdoms. And you best to believe America, okay, the whore that sits on the beast, was that kingdom, man. That Yahweh Shai saw as well. He says... And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. And that alone shows you right there who runs this planet Earth. Satan, man. That's why the scripture says, If our gospel be hid, it are hid to them that are lost. For the God of this world, Satan, have blinded them. All right? So the majority of our people, they can't believe, man, because they're being blinded. All right? Most I didn't have to show them his mercy, man. Because faith is a gift that has to be given to you by the Most High, man. All right? And that gift is going to carry us all the way to the end. All right? So we got to work on these things right now. It says, he said, But if thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, 
and him only shalt thou serve. Kala Yahweh Shem Yahushua, man. That's what we serving, man. Yahweh Yahushua, man. You see? See what I'm saying? Because Satan, let me read First Peter five and eight. You know, and just like we said, it's a constant battle. Why? Because you're in the flesh. You're in the flesh, man. All right. That's what scripture says. Be sober. Be, be vigilant. All right. So we're supposed to be sober. Excuse me. Wow, man. So you got to battle the flesh here too, man. You know, brothers be tired and all that, man. But that's the part of the fight, man. You see? There's another precept I want to get in um, after this scripture. Um, in Second Ezra, I want to read that as well. Get get that scripture lined up. So the scripture said, let me go back to uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. All right, so let me read it. First Peter 5 and 8, it says, and be sober. So you're supposed to be sober, man. You're not supposed to be drunk with the people of the world. These people of the world, they're drunk. They have a carefree attitude. They're not serious, man. It says, be vigilant. So a person that's vigilant means you're what? You're watchful, okay? That's what the Bible calls us, what? The watchmen. We're watching for the signs, and we're watching for the Lord to make his second coming. Because your adversary, the devil, Satan, as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. By planting them seeds of doubt, man, and unbelief, man. All right? And making you care for the cares of this world and feeding your flesh. So I'm going to do a video on that to the Pavi how about Shemiel Shah, man. All right? So Satan is like a walking, roaring lion. Up and down in the earth, like he told the Most High in the book of Job. Looking for who he may devour. And he has devoured the majority of this, our people, man. Because these other nations, you're underneath the vibration of Satan anyway. All right? Y'all don't have a, a chance in hell. It said, Who resisted steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So we all going through the same thing. Okay? None of this is unique in any... Um, um, none of us is unique, man. We all going through the same thing. We all got a demons that we got to wrestle with, constantly keep fighting and battling. This is a fight, man. All right? And the fight is for your soul. Because that's what Satan wants. All right? He wants your entire vibration, man. All right? Above all, he wants your mind because that's where your spirit dwells. And once he crack your mind, that's it. All right? Everything will just play out in the physical, man. It says, but the most high... Of all grace who have called us unto the eternal glory by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. After he have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So Yahweh Shai is our strength. Okay? Like the Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Yahweh Shai who strengthened me. Yahweh Shai, but make it intercession on your behalf, man. You see what I'm saying? And you go through these demons and, and these struggles in the flesh, man. And that, you know, when you go through depression or whatever, because it's going to happen. Scripture says, and much wisdom is much grief. And he that multiplying knowledge also multiplying what? In sorrow. You see, it's going to happen. Man. See what I'm saying? That's the entire Bible. That's the entire book. Especially, um, if spirits get you, especially when you sin or you go off. You see? Make you feel like you're not a man of the Lord, but that's a part of the fight. It says Second Ezra 16 verse 17, 74. That's the whole point why you need a Messiah or a Savior. It's Second Ezra 16, 74. Hear, O ye beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, man. So don't doubt, man. That's another scripture. It says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. The law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, save the Lord. Let not your sins weigh you down. So don't let your sins weigh you down. If you fall, like the scripture says, get back up, man. A wise man falls seven times, but rise it up again, man. He gets back up, cuts off certain things from his flesh, pray, fast, 
examine himself and keep pushing forward man you see and that's a daily thing so, so the scripture says don't let your sins weigh you down all right and don't let your iniquities lift up themselves so just don't be sinning like these idiotic christians who believe they're under grace and they could just do whatever they want that's the iniquities lifting themselves up okay it says um So that's it on that man. So you know you know the way we cast this thing off, like the scripture said, is through Yahweh Shai, man. And praying and fasting, and like King David says, Psalms 119, I guess I'll close it out with that. The scripture Psalms 119. Psalms 119, verse 28. King David said, My soul melted for heaviness. Because he was going through a lot, man. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it's times that he struggled in his flesh, man. You see? But what did King David say? My soul melted for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. So King David said, Strengthen thou me according to thy word. And we know the word is who? A.K.A. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was the word in the flesh. As we read in 1 Peter 5 and 10, that Yahweh Shai will establish and strengthen you, man, by the word, man. So King David said, my soul melted for heaviness, and that's all of us. You know, like I said, all the things that we have to go through. But he said, what? Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. And that's why it's pivotal you go out there and preach, and that's why it's pivotal, all right, that we push these videos, man. See what I'm saying? It's very, very crucial, man, that brothers push these videos, man, because you comfort the flock or the church of Yahweh Shai, man, the body of Yahweh Shai. Brothers and sisters around the globe, man. Okay? Because we all feed off each other energy, man. You see? So like I said, man, Kala Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Lord willing, he give us the strength to endure. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.